what's up guys this is PK Tech and this video basically I'll be covering up the journey of a YouTuber uploading a video on YouTube and a person watching the video on YouTube just like you. So this journey is super fast, it's lightning fast. So how does this journey take place? So let's not waste any bit of time and get right into this video. So let's get started. There are a billion of people watching YouTube videos but what does it take for you to watch the same video? Basically, the journey starts from this micro SD card. It's a tiny card, but it has a computer built into it, which converts the video, which then enables it to convert the video and store it on the micro SD card's storage. Yeah. Then the card is taken to the computer. It's put into the computer so that the video footages, which are shot on the camera or are stored on the SD card's memory, can be taken to the computer. And here, the video editing begins. Then music is added with all the clips are put on together, audio is mixed, color tones are managed and once all this finish is done, the video starts taking its shape. Now it's time to export the video. So guys, this is not the end yet. There is a lot to do once the video has been edited and has been exported. Once I upload a video on YouTube, what the YouTube does is it uh, shrinks the video packages so that that can be easily transferred via Wi-Fi or a cellular network to your modem or to your network and from this network the internet the YouTube data goes to via internet to YouTube servers where all the data on all the videos are stored on YouTube so once you hit on this icon on your watch start watching this video the journey is completely reversed YouTube and again and close this video packets and these are sent again via internet to your modem or servers and these are now shown to you within a microsecond or a millisecond. It's a super fast journey. The device you're watching this video on is now uh, it's converting the video packets and displaying you the same video. But this uh, not the as original files as which was uploaded on YouTube because YouTube converts and checks every second what's your internet speed and what's your playback time. So accordingly, every second it judges and shows you the perfect image so that you cannot get that buffering or loading. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, please do give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to PK Tech, and hope that the journey begins once again. Peace.